be sure to click subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Good morning, you guys. Can you guys all say hi? hi. Say hi. hi. <laughs> Today, my kids and I, for the sixth week in a row, are live making homemade instruments. Um, we have made homemade egg shakers. We've made drums out of coffee cans. We made castanets. What else did we make, you guys? Oh, yep, we made our egg shakers and our maracas. We made um, homemade kazoos. Oh, and ocean drums we made last week. So <clears throat> this week is more of a complex instrument than I've ever attempted to, walk, to make before. Um, we are making a homemade spin drum. Spin drum, in case you don't know, I will show you uh, one that we have that's a B brand toy. Uh, it's one that goes between your hands. That, right so it kind of makes that that drumming sound with the beads so we are making our own spin drums uh, and here is the product that I have created that we have come up with it works pretty well right it's, it's kind of cool um, so the kids the kids are getting started with their bead picking out because there are some beads that go on the spin drum they're picking out their beads right now. This is a little bit more labor intensive on my part as the uh, parent, um, but they turned out really, really cool. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you what I did ahead of time because there were some things that I had to do ahead of time. So this drum is made from uh, two of these canning rings, okay? So you have two canning rings for each drum. What else do we have in here? Uh, balloons, so you have balloons. I um, we popped a hole in my balloon. I had never tried this before, so I wasn't sure how much I was cutting. Uh, and I just covered it with duct tape and it works just fine anyway. So if you do have a hole in your balloon, just cover it with duct tape and the kids will probably never notice. Um, and then you need, uh, like, a, I have, we have a bunch of pencils. So I used a pencil. You could use a wooden dowel or, you know, anything. Okay, this part you're gonna do ahead of time. You wanna have your metal ring and a screwdriver. You're gonna just place it onto the metal ring and then take a hammer, because you're gonna wanna bend a divot into the uh, ring here, so. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just like that. See, it's got a nice metal divot. I'm gonna do it on the other one exactly the same. Hold that in place. The goal is when you put them together, you will have a big enough hole to hold a pencil. Perfect, that's all you need to do ahead of time. So I did that ahead of time. Um, what else did I do ahead of time? I covered some of them with balloons <clears throat> because it, it's, it's quite a process. <laughs> You, you get you get to or you're pretty fast at it, but in the beginning it's a little bit slow. So you want to take your balloon and cut um, the the neck of it off here, so that you get rid of that, and that's going to be what you then stretch over the ring to make your drum. So and really, once you get them on there, um, it works pretty well. It's got a nice sound to it. So then we did, I did stretch those across. So I will go ahead and stretch one of those balloons across to try to have you see what it is. Um, I have this last balloon that I cut, that I cut, that I'm gonna put over top of here. So I'm gonna go ahead and stretch this over the ring, okay? And I'll try to do it where you can see it, but it pinches my fingers, so. Um, get that going all the way around the drum there we go so I've got it now so it's pretty much covered and you can hear when it's got a night when it's nice and tight the way you want it to be so I have them with their twine that is actually for the craft I tied two knots in the ends of it to keep the beads in place all right put your favorite beads three on this side and three on this side all right so he's picked out his favorite beads so we're gonna just put three beads on here to where my knots are all right, so I have his three beads on there, and I'm just gonna knot that together then, because that's basically uh, gonna be one of the, the noise-making pieces on the end of the drum. 
So I'm just gonna knot it right on up, tie it together. All right, so we got that on there. All right, Aiden, where's your other three? So now that I've got his beads on there, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this extra string off because we do not need it. My necklace is gonna be beautiful. It will be beautiful, I'm sure. All right, so I've got those but on there. You have to put the beads across first. So you wanna actually make sure that those are straight across. Here's again my dented spot because you want it to be, um, well, if you're thinking about a clock, you want it to be at three and nine so that your dent is at like six o'clock, okay? So that you've got those there. So I'm gonna put a couple of tiny glue dots, really small because I don't want it to melt my balloon, just to hold those in place. Uh, and then I will attach the next thing together. I'm telling you, this one's a little bit more labor intensive than I think I've, we've tried so far. Kids kind of have to watch more for this one. Okay, so I'm gonna put these little dots of hot glue here just to kind of hold that in place. Hold that in place. I'm gonna put this one here together. All right, just like that. All right. I'm gonna attempt to rip this in half because I don't really want it to be that. Ooh. I want it well. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> All right, here well, we go. This one. Okay. I want this one. Okay. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna start I wrapping it around the I top want of my. That one and that one. I'm not sure. Once. No. So these are balloons, and remember, the balloons one. will. Absolutely just tear. So you kind of have to be a little this bit cautious one. when you put something on those balloons I wanna have okay. this one. Then you don't want to take it off because I you'll probably rip your balloon. One. It's just like popping balloons outside I'm gonna stop it right here because that's where the uh, Pencil will go in and I'm gonna put some hot glue in there in just a second so now I've got Aiden's, like, the spin part. Look at it. It's already working so well. Okay, and now I need to put hot glue in there and make a spot for that pencil. So I'm going to put that hot glue into this hole. And this is, again, one of those, like, kind of tricky. I don't want to, like, just melt the balloon, but I do want to give that, this, uh, pencil kind of a place. So I'm also going to glue right here where I can see it. And then I'm gonna put duct tape around it too. Probably mostly dry. Check it out. It's so fun, right? I totally think these are a very fun completed drum when you're done. the final spin drum. Check it out, you guys. I I really, these are pretty fun to me. Um, I don't know how long they'll last, we'll find out. But like I was telling you guys earlier, I ripped my first one and I just covered it in duct tape and it sounds just fine. So that's a good backup option is having that duct tape. The 
monkey thought was all in fun. Pop, pop. Goes the weasel. All right, do it again. Hold him still. Ready? Let's hold him still and quiet. All around the cobbler's bench, the monkey chased the weasel. The monkey thought was all in fun. Pop! Goes the weasel. Very nice. Everybody, thank you for joining us. We'll be here again next thank Monday making you. something. I don't know yet. All right. Come by. Bye. Bye. Bye.